So Royal Canoe Club was founded in 1866. Um, so actually it's 150 years old last year. Um, we had a massive celebration for it, which was uh, really fantastic, including an archive day um, and also sort of a 150 boat paddle down from Kingston Bridge. Um, so we really are proud of our heritage um, and because we are the oldest canoe club in the world, it's, uh, it really shows the history of the sport as well. We actually have loads of documents, including um, the original diaries by um, McGregor um, and his travels surrounding um, in the early time. The, the definition of a canoe uh, being a vessel with or without uh, sails capable of being propelled with a paddle or paddles by one or more persons who face forwards according to the number that is intended to carry. So it's, uh... um, it's kind of a bit like home, especially yeah, because I've been here for so long, I wouldn't ever want to leave. <laughs> um, and all the people here and everything, the family, everything like that, it's always kept me here. And I genuinely believe that it's got, it's got something that not a lot of other clubs in the country do. Um, so I'm 29 um, and I've actually only been a member of the club for about a year. For, for someone my age, um, you know, Living a busy life in London is difficult and I, mean, I can't think of anywhere else around here where you get, you know, 50 metres of space all around you, all to yourself. So, you know, it's a fantastic opportunity to get down after work, um, clear your head and, yeah, just sort of revive yourself after a busy day, really. Since uh, 1936, um, which was the first Olympic Games that Kling was uh, was included in in Berlin, um, we have had athletes at um, every single Olympic since then. One of our proudest accolades at Royal Canoe Club is in 2008 when Tim Brabens became the first ever British kayaker to win gold at the Olympics. Um, it's been a fantastic achievement and something that we really want to build upon into the future and we really hope that our athletes coming through will be able to reach that same point. Uh, so the club has offered me a, a safe environment in order to learn how to kayak, um, but also it's offered me the facilities, equipment, the coaching in order to develop those skills that I, I hadn't had before. Um, I don't think I would have been able to do that on my own. Certainly wouldn't have had the determination just to keep pushing, whereas the club gave me that support and that momentum to keep going. Going to the future, the reason why I want to stay here is because um, I've built so many friendships around here which, um, which will just lasting and will last me for a lifetime. It's an amazing environment and a learning environment and I think the, the beauty of canoeing in general is that everyone's out there to help you. I can't find the right words just to say what sort of um, liberation it is to be able to just go out on the river free, no ties uh, and just enjoy it.